All right, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. When you become a nurse, I think it's all about optionality. And people don't understand when I tell them, I say, look, you have optionality as a nurse. Like there's no one direct route. One of the things that's overlooked a lot is, is that is nurse entrepreneurs. Um, I definitely consider myself a nurse entrepreneur and I'll tell you why, because I run about three or four different types of aspects of businesses. For one, I own a drug and alcohol testing business, right? Two, I also run a CPR, BLS, ACLS business. I also run a, uh, a, a very, very lucrative sports card. Uh, I would say an eBay business. And you guys are welcome to go check out my eBay channel, Nomad Nurse Collectibles. And you can see some of the listings that I have on there. Um, I mean, I got thousands of dollars worth of listings in some cases. So, um, yeah, I do a lot of high volume in that. And, and what I want to talk about, about nurse entrepreneurship is how is why nurses are really, really, a lot of nurses are really kind of destined to be entrepreneurs because you have to be, one, as a nurse, you have to be flexible, right? You have to be flexible. If you're on the floor, I promise you, you're going to have to be flexible. You're not ever going to have perfect staff. You're not ever going to have all the equipment you want every single time. You're not going to always have, you know, the perfect patients, the gold standard patients that we had in, in nursing school. And you guys know this, you know, you know that the perfect patient scenario world or whatever. And I think it's one aspect of nursing that's overlooked a lot. I think a lot of people think that you have to go into med surge or you have to go into ER or you have to go into ICU to really have a career. And I'm here to tell you, you definitely don't. I mean, my personality now, I will say, I'm a very independent person. I uh, I enjoy traveling. Is which why, why I am the the nomad nurse, the travel nurse. You know, uh, things like that is because I enjoy the independence. I enjoy the flexibility and freedom. Now, a lot of responsibility comes with that as well. You need to be able to manage your money. You need to be able to take risk. You need to be able to be smart though when you take risk. You know, you can't just come out and make risk and risky business decisions. Uh, just because on a whim, you have to have, you have to find out there's a need, there's markets, there's sub markets to all of this stuff. Uh, whether it's sports cards or whether it's drug testing businesses, CPR businesses, you need to find out how to exploit that and, uh, and to make a decent profit. But what I want to talk about is why nurses are really, really good in that in, as, as entrepreneurs is because going back to what I said earlier is about the flexibility, the flexibility that you, that you learn, you learn about human nature. I mean, I can promise you as an ER nurse, you're going to be frustrated. You're going to be mad. You're going to be mad at, at clients. You're going to be mad at, uh, at uh, coworkers, doctors, whatever it is, because it's such a frustrating and stressful environment so many times. And I think that we overlook that, that as nurses. And, I, and what I mean by we overlook that, we don't really look at the, uh, what, what we're gaining as if you wanted to be an entrepreneur, because being an entrepreneur sort of means you have to be kind of comfortable in, in the unknown. You have to be sort of comfortable in kind of chaos, you know? And I think that understanding that, if you're comfortable in that, as an ER nurse, you know, as somebody who's ADD for sure, not OCD, I mean, it's always chaos in the ER, but you have to be comfortable in that. And I think, especially ER nurses, you know, we're kind of driven, we're type A personalities, we're independent people. Um, we... We are just kind of, you know, have that entrepreneurial spirit. And I think that it's overlooked a lot. It's never talked about, you know, it's never talked about the nurse entrepreneur. Can you do legal nurse consulting? That's another avenue I'm trying to add to my business. Um, I also do CPR, first aid, drug testing, sports cards, uh, you name it, you know. And, and some of you guys have watched my videos long enough, kind of understand that or at least have an idea of my personality. Uh, as a travel nurse, though, that's another thing. You have to thrive in that chaos, thrive that you're going to be somewhere for three months and then you're going to be moving again. You know, nothing has to be, for me, I don't like routine for long periods of time. That's just my personality. But also, you have to know that there's certain things that require you to be in a routine. There's certain things when it comes to your skill or whatever you're doing, especially as a nurse, if you're studying or whatever you're doing, you have to be able to focus all of your energy all of your focus has to be on that one task. You know, uh, a patient comes in with an MI, you have to be able to focus on that task at hand. Uh, you have a test coming up. You need to focus on that thing at that moment with all this chaos going around you. And that's something that's very similar to entrepreneurship. It's just differently. It's just differently placed. 
Uh, for one, I'll give you an example of, uh, of sports cards, another one that I talk about a lot on here, um, or not a lot on here, but I'm starting to talk a lot about, is, uh, is understanding markets, understanding how to exploit markets, sub-markets, et cetera. So, um, yeah, there's a lot, you know, guys, there's a, there's a lot of areas as entrepreneurs that I think a lot of you haven't thought about. You think you have to get into this, uh, you know, this, this world that they, they put you into in nursing school because they're only preparing you for the hospital. They're not preparing you to think for yourself, to think out of the box. How can I make money here? How can I use my degree and my education to make money and even market myself? You know, there's so many areas that I think are overlooked that can be exploited as a nurse. You just have to think creatively. Um, and it's something that I'm kind of doing and I'm actually getting traction. You know, I'm actually getting traction and making positive, uh, positive steps. Now, I will say one of the things, though, that, that's so easy to do is you want to take that paycheck. You know, you want to take that steady paycheck and to ease your anxiety and to just take that paycheck, go in your work and then come home. The only problem with that is you're also you're, you're going to be stuck to their schedule, their rules, their regulations, all of this other stuff that you have to conform to. And me personally, I'm just not a conformist. Uh, I never have been. And, and I actually wear that with pride where a lot of people, you know, may look down on that. They may look at that in a negative light. Me, I look at it as a positive. Um, I don't think you should ever conform. Now, there's certain things you have to conform to. You know, you have to conform to certain rules, protocols, things in medicine that are science based that we have to follow. Um, I'm not saying anything like that, but I'm saying more of the, you know, conform to what what nursing school taught you to go out there and, and be you know, on a med surge floor for a year, you know, hell with that. Who wants to be on a med surge floor for a year? I mean, not if you want to be an ICU nurse, you know, um, or you want to be an ER nurse, why would you go and be a med surge nurse? So anyways, guys, I think it's more about the mindset that I want you guys to kind of shift your way of thinking, start shifting your way of thinking. If you have other dreams and other aspirations, just besides nursing, think about how you can market yourself. Think about how you can exploit a market in your community. Think about the sub-markets. You know, there's, there's areas out there that you can exploit and make money off of. But maybe you don't have to make $50,000 a year on this one thing. Maybe do two things. Um, sort of like I am, you know, do the drug and alcohol testing, CPR te- uh, classes, uh, whatever it is. You know, you can do stuff on the side. You can do private duty nursing. That's another thing that I think is kind of overlooked as well is private duty nursing. You can market yourself properly on the internet nowadays as a private duty nurse. You just have to have the confidence to post stuff on the internet, to post your 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 business out there and not be scared about what people are going to say because I think that that is really what holds a lot of people back from being entrepreneurs. They they worry so much about what other people are going to think and it's a legit worry, you know. Um, however, I think that little bit of worry holds so many people back. And as a nurse, you know, you're definitely not one, one of those type of people that are just going to do what the crowd says. You know, you're not, you don't have to do that. Um, but anyways, I'm just kind of rambling here, guys. But I want you to think about how you could probably market yourself better. You don't necessarily have to always do everything in the hospital. So think about entrepreneurship. Think about nursing entrepreneurship and how you can exploit those markets that may have a need in your community. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Peace out.